Do you enjoy surprises? We do too, but only if they're fun surprises. However, it happens that everything is normal, and suddenly, within a second, the world changes beyond recognition for a person. For instance, being caught in a massive wave, something falling from above, or someone making a mistake. It's like a scene from a movie. Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to talk about moments when life suddenly changes dramatically. Did you find that to be an interesting topic? If so, let's dive right in. With the installation of dashboard cameras in cars, the leakage of shocking incidents onto the internet and television news has become more common. An event that occurred on October 3rd, 2018, on a mountain road in Poem County, Tibet, is one such case. Everything seemed fine, but suddenly, an enormous boulder literally tumbled onto the hood of an SUV, turning an ordinary drive into a genuine disaster. Fortunately, the people in the car didn't suffer major injuries. However, the car is beyond use now. By the way, did you notice in the very beginning of the video that two cows hurriedly escaped down the slope from a dangerous spot just a second before the accident happened? Do you think the cows were aware in advance that there would be a rockfall? Due to frequent rockfalls in quarries, rockfall alert systems are installed in large-scale open-pit mining areas. However, in many cases, personal safety relies on the attentiveness of the machinery operators. For instance, this incident in a Turkish quarry was no exception. Rocks were tumbling down from beneath a massive boulder, and the operator of the quarry's wheel loader noticed it just in the nick of time. It was time to reverse and move away from the dangerous area. This was a mere second before disaster struck. In 2019, a sheriff's deputy in South Carolina pulled over Shy Wirtz, a football player, for speeding. The reason for the stop was valid, and Shy was handcuffed and had his belongings inspected. However, even after a thorough search, nothing was found. Suddenly, Charles Allen Browder III noticed something suspicious on the car's hood. And that marked the beginning of a scandal. The deputy believed it to be traces of cocaine. And after a $2 test, it did indeed test positive for cocaine. Perhaps some of you noticed that it wasn't cocaine. Pause the video and write in the comment section what was on the car's hood. Done? Let's return to the scene of the roadside incident. Shai alleges that what the sheriff's office staff had just picked off with their fingers is bird droppings. And he's 100% correct. However, the cocaine test that has fooled officers numerous times in the past produced the wrong result once again. Afterward, Shai was cleared of all charges and released. But due to the deputy's overly vivid imagination, he had an unsettling experience for a while. On February 28, 2019, a dual tragedy unfolded at Busan Port in South Korea. And the cause of the reckless actions you are about to witness was vodka. The Russian bulk carrier, Seagrand, carrying a drunken captain, initially decided to assess the strength of a small yacht attempting to depart from the dock. This wasn't a joyful occurrence for either party, but the most remarkable incident happened an hour after the collision. Seagrand sustained no damage from the collision with the yacht and continued its course. However, its course was mistaken. It seems the Russian crew might have found it amusing to demolish everything in their path and sought out a larger target. A vehicular bridge was certainly a more formidable adversary than a yacht. Seagrand then collided at full speed with the bridge, causing structures on its deck to break and inflicting significant damage to the bridge. Because of alcohol, things have ended up like this, one of the crew members states in the video. It's hard not to agree with that sentiment. The arrested captain of Seagrand had a blood alcohol concentration of 0.086%, which is three times the legal limit. Whether the accident was solely caused by alcohol or just foolishness has become irrelevant at this point. 
This video was filmed in 2018 in Vozhou City, China. The boy was attempting to stop the elevator at his current floor and prevent the doors from closing by inserting the handle of an umbrella between the doors. The time left before disaster struck was merely a second. That's because the elevator completely disregarded the obstruction and started descending. A good umbrella went to waste. Fortunately, the boy's troubles ended there. This was because the rescue team quickly arrived on the 25th floor and got the boy out of the elevator. In November 2020, a concrete barrier was installed on Moscow's Rubolyovsko ospenskoy Highway. This measure was taken due to the frequent incidents of tall vehicles colliding with the overpass, aiming to protect the bridge's structure from damage. To minimize the need for frequent bridge repairs, concrete beams were set up in front of the bridge. So, what do you think happened? A concrete mixer truck crashed into those beams, and subsequently, the beams collapsed onto the hood of a Hyundai Sonata that was following closely behind. The car's dashboard camera recorded the collision and all events that followed in the next second. Fortunately, all four occupants of the car managed to escape safely. In 2001, stuntman and activist Thierry Devaux intended to stage a protest that would leave a strong impression on people. His plan was to fly over New York City using a paraglider, land on the Statue of Liberty, attach bungee cords, jump off, and display a sign protesting the use of anti-personal landmines to the public. It was a fantastic scenario, but the reality turned out slightly different. The most tense moment came when it seemed Thierry had already reached his goal. A gentle breeze caused Thierry to miss his landing, and the paraglider's lines got tangled on the Statue of Liberty's torch leaving him hanging helplessly about 90 meters above the ground. While the rescue team worked to retrieve Thierry from this dizzying height, he remained suspended for about 45 minutes. As a result of this major mishap, he was arrested, charged with disturbing the peace and fined $7,065. December 4th, 2018 will remain a lasting memory for Brennan Kowalski, the percussionist of the University of Regina Wind Ensemble. However, for his fellow musician, Hannah Wildman, this day will hold an even more memorable place. The orchestra was in the midst of performing Gustav Holt's first suite, and the spotlight was approaching the drum section. Three powerful drum strikes were poised to resonate through the audience core, and Brennan struck the drum with all his might. Boom, boom, boom. Then the mallet hit the drum and ricocheted, hitting Hannah. Fortunately, her body wasn't seriously affected. After the concert, Hannah asked for the video to share on social media. And that video garnered tens of millions of views. Classical music has never enjoyed such popularity, don't you think? Taking a cruise to enjoy the sea, sun and warmth can be delightful. But embarking on a ship journey during a storm can add an adrenaline rush, making it even more exciting. Later, while showing videos of ferries navigating through colossal waves, you can share your own experience with everyone. It's unlikely that anyone would dislike such an attraction. However, on February 17th, 2022, aboard the Hadag ferry, the number of people was quite small. Only a handful of daredevils were in the cabins, intending to cross the Elbe River without any major concerns. With Storm Alina roaring outside the windows of the ferry Tolerort, it's better to be inside the ship. And if possible, holding on to something sturdy would be wise, because the following might happen. A massive wave easily shatters the glass, drenching the cabin and a few passengers in the cold waters of the Elbe River. While there's no serious danger, it might be better to find a calmer, drier spot. Demolishing houses and other structures is no simple task, and it's usually left to professionals. However, if you have plenty of free time and absolutely no sense of self-preservation, you might attempt it yourself. This Russian youngster seems to embody that spirit, chiseling away at a brick pillar with a woodpecker-like persistence. When only three bricks are left, he understandably reconsiders and moves away from the scene. The timing was impeccable. One more brick thrown, and the roof collapses with a thunderous roar. Fortunately, no one ended up underneath it. 
And with that, I'd like to conclude today's video. Thank you all for watching. After all, the reason we create these videos is for all of you viewers, so we hope you enjoy today's content. Please continue to support our channel in the future. We'll surely keep bringing you things that will amaze you. For now, it's time to say goodbye, just for a little while. Until next time, everyone, goodbye.